brother it is on schedule two. That's right, you heard it from Margarita. Today we are doing a battery test. So Skydio says you can get about 21 minutes off the battery. So what I'm going to do is, one is going to be using the remote controller. I don't say remote controller, I think it's just controller. Remote controller is like something to, you know, on your the TV. So I'm just gonna use the controller, fly around, got a bit of wind, so I will actually report what the wind is. Then I'm going to do with the second battery is having it follow me around to seeing if, you know, because the AI is doing all the work, if it's gonna use more battery or less battery and see how long we get. <laughs> all right, and timer, start the timer. So it is a bit of wind. And now we're gonna fly around. And obviously I'm not gonna keep everyone just watching all this, so. I'm definitely gonna rush a lot of this. Look at that sun setting. <laughs> Whoa, did you see how it dodged that? It like almost did not see that. Dead branches and it was kind of hiding in there. That boost, I know this is boring. But again, it's all for science. Notice the, the lens definitely has a lot of flare. We're at the 10 minute mark, almost 10 minutes, and 55%. There's Mark and Margarita. I just said Mark and Margarita. Yeah, I'm not touching the sticks, let's see if it goes back from you. So 36% battery, 13 minutes in. 26% and 15, we just hit 15 minutes. All right, we're at 9% battery in 18 minutes and 20 seconds. Low battery landing and there you go. It says I have a minute 18 left on this battery and then I should land. 1840 and a minute left. So we're gonna go find the landing case and we're at 19 minutes. So there you go, about 20 minutes and land. So there you go, three minutes left on this battery. And 19 minutes and 30 seconds as we make our touchdown. 19 minutes and 32 seconds. And of course it says low battery. All right, so the second part of the test. So I'm gonna fly it out and uh, see if we get about 20 minutes on here. So the beacon will be connected to the drone and the phone will be connected to the beacon for the best signal strength. That was in my video over here at the 917 mark. So check that one out if you haven't already. So you kind of get an understanding of how you should be connecting the two. And now I'm just gonna do a screen record. So yeah, about that screen recording. As I am editing this, I realized that when I put the phone in my pocket, it stopped the phone from screen recording. So I'm just gonna play some music, overlap. Let's get back to it. Just a quick note, that is not mine. That was sitting here from before. <laughs> Don't drink and fly or drive or any of those things. All right, timer started. Um, what are these pigeons doing? It's not your friend and it's not trying to attack you. You can go away. There's a lot that I'm carrying. Usually I have margarita here. Focus tracked on me. It's gonna move a bit so that it knows it is behind me.
right, so there you go. We got 22 minutes on that battery with it following me. So I actually got more out of the battery than when I was flying it. And uh, it, it had to do more to keep up with me. So interesting stuff. So there you go. I'm going to put some final stats up around here. Uh, and uh, actually, you know what? Let's wait till we get back to the studio. So let's get back to the studio and then go through all the stats there and close off this video. All right. So like I said, we're going to go back to the studio. Yes, today the studio is not my kitchen. It's my backyard. <laughs> I just like to switch it up once in a while. Did you see around the six minute and 41 second mark with that structure what happened was I waited because there was a lot of traffic going through that area and then um, have the drone follow me. But you see how it kind of was going around that structure. I wish I had the screen recording again. I apologize about that. But the Skydio 2 still like was a champ. That bridge shot. Ooh, wow. It's so nice, man. The shots you get with this are unreal. Skydio 2 has blown me away. Um, let's go through some stats. We got 19 minutes and 32 seconds with the controller. Still not too bad. I mean, they rated at 23 minutes, so very, very close to it. And I landed with 3% battery left. So the next day with the AI doing everything, connected to the phone, connected to the beacon, I ended up getting 20 minutes and 13 seconds. And I landed with 5% battery so that is crazy essentially what I'm getting at is you're gonna get very close to that 23 minutes but then again I also do not recommend going below 5% honestly you're just gonna kill the battery fast but again this was all for science and testing for everybody here so hope you like this again give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already just click that icon down below it says subscribe and then that bell right next to it Ding! you know that's it all right, we'll catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this.